And how does a floating rejuvenation room sound? Well, it can be yours, and we're giving you a little inspiration this morning if you really put your mind to it, what can be done in your own backyard. Wake up with Kim and Dana Wagner for news and weather and first response team traffic with Chopper Tom Hawley and Tiffany DeLeon. You're watching News 3 Today. Thanks. We'd never have to take vacations if we lived in homes like you're about to see. A big home builders convention is in town right now and it's debuting the latest and greatest in home technology. But one Las Vegas home is ahead of the curve and News 3's Colette Wheeland is live there this morning. Colette, it sounds like with just a little bit of imagination and a few bucks, you can do just about <laughs> anything. Just a couple million, that's all. I've got that uh, saved up, so buy me one of these because it's incredible. Let me just show you an example of premier outdoor living space. We're in about 10,000 square feet of outdoor living space. That's when you step out of your 9,000 square foot home. And the great thing about this, you may be thinking, boy, it's sucking a lot of electricity, but it's not because this home is a leader in green technology and it actually generates more electricity than it consumes, believe it or not. Yeah, this pool that you're looking at, those doors, they are helping um, basically put energy back out there because they've got solar panels, the, the heating and cooling, um, it's concrete. So that really helps. Tyler Jones is uh, the builder here, right? And, right. and you uh, really wanted to make this a special home. Just want real quick, all of the, the pool controls, the uh, bar uh, television sets that we're seeing can be controlled by the palm of your hand I in, in right the eye mm -hmm. uh, Absolutely. We'll just, we open and close the, the doors from the home. Uh, security, everything from the media to the garage doors can be controlled right from these um, I, iPhones. It's really neat. So, Kim, Dana, you guys go on vacation. You come back to your to your little abode. Yeah, you don't ever have, well, actually, I don't know why you'd go on vacation because you would never leave the backyard, like you said, but you can make sure that that's heated, ready to go. This place has outdoor living space, so you just put your mind to it, think of anything that you want, and that's possible, and I, that's one thing about Las Vegas that I love. You can have this kind of environment uh, all year round because, as Dana said, we do have pretty nice weather, even for January. It's not too bad. What do you guys think? Oh, I think it's fantastic. I'm just drooling here as I'm looking at that. <laughs> I'm just working on my closet right now, yeah. so this is like I can't even relate to what I'm looking at. It's like Dynasty. Colette, thank you, though, for it sharing. Is. And it's cool that it's energy efficient, too. That home that Colette's at is part of the International Builder Show, which runs through Friday. And I am, like, bummed out. Because I've been working on my closet, I and I don't even have one of those like cool, fancy California closets or anything. It's just the, the standard builder closet. I look at that, and I think someday. Why doesn't every <laughs> roof have uh, solar panels on them? They are generating more power. They're putting power back onto the grid at that home. It's because of the upfront cost. People just don't have the money well, to pay that, the upfront cost. I'm saying municipalities could right. float bonds, and I guess it's not the right economic climate for I think for you've that. done a story on this I before. Have. Okay, right now Las Vegas is the center of the American Home Builders Universe. A convention expected to bring in about 90,000 people yeah. to town, and this morning we are showing you the latest and greatest in home technology. News 3's Colette Wheeland has been live all morning at one of the coolest houses in town. It's located <laughs> in the southeast part of the valley. I think one of the coolest houses in the world from what I'm seeing this morning. How would you like to step outside of your master bedroom to your spa? enjoy your koi pond, and then if you get a little tired from that, you can hop into your outdoor master bedroom living space, complete with a beautiful sunrise view, and then just a few steps back inside, and you are in the master bedroom. And Lee Lundquist, you help pick out some of the most beautiful designs here, and you told me that this is actually Brazilian wood for the bed? It's old barn wood that's been reclaimed that came in from Brazil. That's helping with the whole theme of green technology. I mean, we've seen LED lights. We know this is energy efficient, but it's also a lot of recycling done in this home in a, in a very chic way, if I might Correct. add. Very sophisticated. We were very selective with the pieces that we used in this house, all from Robin Stuckey Interiors. I just want to show the people at home. Okay, so it may look maybe more simple than the average home, but you don't need a lot of technology in the bedroom because, hey, it's a nice retreat. As we showed you, they have outdoor living spaces. Um, and I just want to point out one more thing. The touch of this uh, pad right here, I'm confusing my photographer because <laughs> it's kind of a big room. But if you check this out, we showed you that in the downstairs home entertainment area, but it also is in the master bedroom. You can keep an eye on things. You can program the, the heat into this home. And that's all been uh, picked out here in the design that uh, Lee talked about 
about just making sure that everything flows. And it really, Kim and Dana, you can't ask for a more perfect place um, to come, sit back, relax after a nice, long, hard day at work. So I'm going to toss it back to you guys in the studio. Oh. Yeah. Normally, she, <laughs> yeah, she's apply. asleep here in the studio somewhere, yeah. but this morning she gets a nice bed. Yes. Tough job that someone has to do it. Colette, thank yeah. you very much for that. Wouldn't it be fun to walk around with one of those things in your palm and you're just controlling the yeah. whole world around you? One I mean, of the cool would... things about that house, too, is they have solar panels on the roof, yeah. so they actually produce more power than the house needs. So they're sending power back to the grid. If you have the bucks to get it done, that's the way to do it. Well,